The National Military History Center invites you to support the troops tonight in downtown Auburn. A Fort Wayne police officer is suspended for the 15th time and a near drowning at Hogback Lake. I'm Maggie Johnson. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Over 70% of our customers are repeat buyers or referrals. To get a customer back in our business, you have to treat them right. Sell them a quality vehicle and back it like we do with our famous 100,000 mile warranty. Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. And now, the latest from Who's your Ohio News Channel. A Prairie Heights teen is recovering in a Michigan hospital after nearly drowning Sunday on Hogback Lake. 17-year-old Cody Clark was swimming with some friends when they noticed him struggling. He was pulled from the water and CPR was administered. Clark was taken by Steuben County EMS to Parkview Hospital and later transported to University of Michigan Hospital in Ann Arbor. Rodney Clear with the DNR says the incident is being treated as a near drowning and is under investigation. Fort Wayne Police Officer Scott Morales has been suspended again. What makes this latest incident so alarming is that it's the 15th suspension for Morales in his 19 years with the department. Most recently, he's accused of using excessive force while transporting a prisoner to St. Joseph Hospital back in February. The Board of Public Safety in Fort Wayne voted Monday night to suspend Morales for 90 days without pay. In addition to his 15 suspensions, Morales has reportedly been reprimanded 11 times for his actions while on the job. Tuesday night is Support the Troops Night in Auburn. The National Military History Center will be on the square tonight from 6 to 9 p.m. collecting items for our troops serving overseas. You can bring items like snack foods, personal hygiene items, sunblock, and phone cards to name a few. There will also be a 48 square foot banner which you can sign and write words of encouragement. The event will center around the Unconditional Surrender sculpture outside the Auburn Hotel at 9th and Main Street. You're also invited out for military vehicle cruising on Thursday night around Courthouse Square. State police are still investigating an accident that tied up traffic for several hours last night on I-69. It happened when a semi-truck jackknifed in the southbound lanes of 69 at exit 96 near Fort Wayne GM plant. Traffic was diverted off the interstate for a time while emergency crews worked to clear the lanes. The driver of the truck was not injured in the accident. And that's the news for now. If you see news happening, let us know about it. Email us, who'sohionews at gmail.com. I'm Maggie Johnson. Have a great day. But you approved me for a car loan two years ago. Times are tough. We've had to tighten up our standards. Do you approve any car loans? Let's see. But here's some great news. I just got my bonus. If you've been turned down for a car loan, you need to see us today. Preferred Auto is the largest independent dealer in the state. So banks and credit unions want to lend us money. If you're tired of hearing no, it's time to start hearing yes. Come see us now at your Preferred Auto on Grand Staff next to Hollywood Video.